and a five, six, seven, eight. Welcome friends, I'm Meryl Mania and in today's episode I'm going to teach you how to play three really useful chords. They are A, E and D. And also I'm going to teach you two versions of these chords, like a easier version and then a more regular but slightly harder version. Check out the link below because there's a video to a song I'm teaching which uses these three chords in context in the chorus. So here we go! Let's do it! So first up we shall learn the easier version of an A chord and to do this we just need to take our first finger, the one next door to the thumb, and place this on fret 2 on the D string. The D string is my blue string, so fret 1, fret 2. Okay, next we take our second finger and place this on fret 2, but on the orange G string. So we're basically holding the middle two strings on fret 2. Now the strings we want to strum are from the A string down, the yellow string down. And also it's an A chord and we're strumming it from the A string so that can help you remember which string to strum from. When we do the easier version of this A chord it is really technically called an A sus2 but it will still sound fine and good if you want to do this version instead. But I will get to the other version in a minute so I will just strum it now from the yellow A string down towards the ground. Okay, so this, if you have an acoustic guitar especially, would sound amazing. So, if your guitar's in tune, which hopefully it is, it should sound like this. But if it's not in tune, I have a link below about how to tune your guitar with a clip-on tuner, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so next, Let's make this become the full version of an A chord. Slightly harder, but there's only one difference. Basically, we can keep all our fingers as they are just here, but we're just now going to take our third finger and place this on my green B string. So we have two, 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 all on the D, G and B string. Okay, we can strum the same strings as earlier, so here I go. Okay, so it's really important that we keep our fingers really arched and pressing really hard. Otherwise you won't really get a clear sound and it might sound like this. And I don't think anyone really is going for that kind of guitar tone. <laughs> so let's press really hard and keep our fingers arched. We have to also make sure our fingers don't touch other strings when we play chords. Well, it depends. Some, there's some chords where actually you are meant to do that, but in today's lesson, we don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, next chord to learn is E, and let's do the slightly easier version first. So, we're just now going to take the second finger. So, this is finger one, and this is finger two. So, we're going to take this finger and place this on fret 2 on the yellow A string. One, two. Okay, so that's there now. So now we're going to take the third finger, that's the one next door to the pinky, and that will go on fret 2 on my blue D string. Now for this type of easier version of an E chord, it can also be called an E5, or an E power chord, even though it isn't the standard power chord shape, but it uses the same two notes as a power chord. Okay, so for this type of E, we only want to strum the three strings nearest to your face. So the E, A and D string. So on my guitar, that's like red, yellow and blue string. So it should sound like this. It's quite fat. If 
by accident you strummed all the strings like this, then this would turn it into what's called an E minor chord. And minor means it sounds sad. There's actually more things to do with what differentiates between minor and major, but we'll cover that more in the future. But for now, minor means sad. So unless you want it to be a sad E minor, don't strum all the strings, just the three closest to your face. Like this. Right, let's make this become a full version of an E chord now, which is slightly harder. But we don't really need to move our hand because they can, they can just stay there. They're just doing their thing. So next, all we need to do is take our first finger, that's the one next door to the thumb, and place this on the orange G string on fret one. So elephants and donkeys grow in this whole strips fret one. So it's just gonna go here. And again, you know, it's really important to keep our fingers arched and pressing hard and not touching other strings. If you feel like you just, it just isn't sounding right and you think, oh, I am arching and I am pressing, then you could experiment with moving your wrist forward to arch further or changing the position of your thumb slightly higher or lower. And also we could maybe move your fingers closer to the metal line if they're not near it already because that makes a difference too. For this kind of E chord, we can strum all the strings. So that's quite good because our right hand can be carefree now. And this kind of E chord sounds brighter compared to the easy version of E. So I'll take my first finger away again, so easy version. Okay, because we strum less strings on this version. Or put my finger back, harder version. See, this sounds brighter. I think, I guess, it's because we're just drumming more strings, including the higher pitch ones, which are ringing out open. And this would sound really good, especially on an acoustic guitar. I haven't used mine though, because I quite like teaching with the color coded method and these just have plain strings. So I used, I used my PRS guitar instead. <laughs> Okay, last chord to learn, the D chord. And let's learn the easier version first. So, first up, let's take our first finger, the one next door to the thumb, and place this on fret two on the orange G string. So, fret one, fret two, and this is G for grow. Elephants and donkeys grow. In case you don't know the rhyme, and then it goes big and then it is. So elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Okay, so like, this is in place now, so this is good. And then we're going to take the third finger. This is the one next door to the pinky. And this is going to go on fret three on the green B string. So fret one, fret two, fret three. Elephants and donkeys grow big. Boop, there we go. Okay, so technically this chord is called a D sus two. Sus is short for suspended, but that's all to do with chord building and we'll get more into that in the future. That's like a different whole other lesson. So it's quite, quite long winded. So for the D chord, we could strum from the D string down. So that's from the blue string down down towards the ground. And it should sound like this. Okay, so this would sound really good on an acoustic guitar especially because we have those open strings in there and they seem to really work well on acoustic. <sighs> I keep saying about acoustic. <laughs> I probably should have just done this whole video of my acoustic actually. <laughs> I keep talking about it <laughs> so but again just like before we should keep our fingers arched and pressing hard and as close up to near the metal fret wires as you could be not on them but just before them so just like that now let's do a slightly harder but full version of a d chord now our fingers can stay exactly where they are we don't want to change any stuff here but uh, all we need to add is our second finger it's just sort of hanging out there anyway, thinking, oh, what shall I do next? So what it should do next is go on to fret two on the E for ear string. And this is the string closest to the ground. 
It's purple on my guitar, but it's very thin, so it might be hard to see. So elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So it's on fret two on the string closest to the ground. So now we have, it's like a little triangle shape and we're going to strum the same strings as we did earlier. So we'll strum the G chord from the G string. And there's that. So basically, so we can remember which string to strum from for each chord. The A chord is strummed from the A string, which is yellow. The E chord is strummed from the E string, which is my red string. And the D chord is strummed from the D string, which is my blue string. <laughs> so it helps if you know that pattern, I find. It sticks in your mind more. At first, it might be difficult to switch from chord to chord, and you might just think, well, how do people just do it so fast? But if you just persevere and just practice these shapes over and over, switching between them, it will soon become like muscle memory, like second nature, and it will soon just become natural for you to just do it without even looking. <laughs> But you should have seen me when I first started. It was just nothing at all like that. I mean, I barely even knew what a guitar was when I first started guitar. So <laughs> you'll soon be ahead of me on this. <laughs> so thank you so much if you have already subscribed or if you're about to subscribe. Here are my social media handles. Right, so remember, practice makes progress. Keep it fun. And I'll see you guys on the flippity flop. Bye. <laughs>